Hey everybody, welcome back. Stonebroke Adventure, new project we're working on today. Got this camper here, runs on solar. We got 400 watts of solar up on the roof. Looking back at some of the other videos, you can see the whole installation process on that. The thing is we had a 200 amp hour battery in here. So we're gonna upgrade here to the eco-worthy 280 amp hour battery. Um, that's definitely gonna give us plenty of power to run the AC all night, even during the day. Um, we're gonna do a capacity test on this to make sure that that label is correct. Really important on batteries to do these capacity tests. We're gonna do a capacity test, make sure that it actually holds 280 amp hours. And we're gonna go ahead, remove the old battery and install the eco -word. Let's go over some of the specs on this. This thing has a 200 amp BMS. That's 200 amps of continuous discharge. Really nice capacity for a BMS. It has a 850 amp peak discharge, so that's starting power. So starting power on a, uh, say, an inductive motor, you may need that initial energy to start that, so it will handle an 850 peak initial jump start. The BMS in this battery can also handle 140 amps of input. So if you have a high capacity battery charger, this is the BMS you're gonna need for that, so you can fast charge that 280 amp hours. It has 6,000 cycles in this thing at 80%, so you can run this thing up to 6,000 times, fully charged, fully discharged, 6,000 times, and it'll still maintain 80% of its capacity. The minimum discharge temperature on this battery is negative four degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty low for a lithium battery, so if you're in cold environments, this is the battery for you. So we've started our capacity test. This is gonna take a while. We're drawing this down at 9.3 amps. And uh, we'll come back when this capacity test is done. One thing that's nice about this battery is you can hook up four of these batteries in parallel or in series. This is my little boondocking camper. I have 400 watts of solar on the roof, but currently I only have a 200 amp hour battery right in this compartment right in here now what i need to do is i need to increase that capacity because right now i can run the air conditioner with this it has a little air conditioner i have an air conditioner i have a small refrigerator that i put outside and i have a tv and when i'm running all three i just have enough capacity to uh give me air conditioning overnight but I don't have any reserve, so I need that extra 80 amp hours to give me reserve. So we're gonna modify this setup and put that eco-worthy 280 amp hour battery uh, in place of the 200 amp hour battery. So we've got the old battery disconnected, right? We gotta do some modifications in here and uh, we're gonna put that new battery in once we change this up a little bit. Let's get this thing out of the way here. Move that out of the way, get it set on the ground. And what we're gonna do is back here in this compartment back here, is we're gonna set the new battery in this compartment right there. It's gonna fit perfect. We're gonna drill a couple new holes here and here for the battery cables to go in. We've got two aught battery cable, three foot long. That's gonna give us plenty of room to install the- It'll also be easy to uh, remove them with that little extra length. We're still gonna have this compartment sealed up once everything's done. That'll just be an access area where we can get in there and work on things. Okay, we gotta drill the holes for the battery cables. There's one. We got one more right here. Go ahead, remove the old cables. All right, we'll start with the negative. Go ahead and replace it with the new battery cable. Nice tight fit on that shot. All right, we're gonna 
repeat the process with that positive cable. It's way back there. going to be kind of a pain to get to, but we'll get it. So we've been running this uh, battery capacity test overnight. It definitely meets capacity. We're at 284 amp hours already. And it's reached capacity. We'll let it run a little bit longer, but it definitely meets the capacity at 284 amp hours. So that's good. 284 amp hours, 284.32 amp hours, still counting down. So running at, at 12 volts there. We're gonna disconnect this battery. We're gonna get it charged up to full capacity and we're gonna install it in our little camper. So you look underneath here, we have the positive way back there. We have the negative running it through this little bulkhead. We have the cables attached. What's nice about that little extra bit of cable is I can pull this battery out this battery comes with these real nice handles here, so I can just pull that out, I can disconnect it, I can reconnect it, and then all I gotta do is just slide this thing right back into place, right where it needs to be, and I'll secure this down with a little clamp on the bottom to keep it from moving around while we're transporting it. But yeah, look at that, look how good that looks. Nice tight fit, all right, we gotta, uh, 2000 watt inverter there we got our little battery charger here so we're all set all we got to do is turn everything on give this thing a test if you look down in the description below there should be a link to purchase this i earn a little bit of a commission on that link that affiliate link it helps me uh, support the channel also there should be a discount code down below the discount code is only for a limited time so if you're thinking about getting one of these, get it soon before that time frame runs out on that discount code. Yeah, so here we are in our mini camper. We got the eco-worthy 280 amp hour, 12.8 volt battery running our air conditioner, rerun our AC, our TV. We have a refrigerator that runs off of this. Uh, this thing is working amazing. We're super stoked with it. So everything's running. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. So from Stonebroke Adventure, until next time, bloop.